we go to question 12. Question 12 says, if a roller coaster starts from the top of the track with a potential energy of 500 joules, and there is no friction on the track, what would its kinetic energy be at the bottom of the track? So uh, you start at the top with certain potential energy, then you go down, right? So the roller coaster is here, it has a certain potential energy, right? Potential energy, 500 joules. What will its kinetic energy be? Okay, this problem basically is hinting at the fact that if there is no friction, no friction is gonna do no net negative work, then the potential energy and kinetic energy, the sum of the two is conserved. The total energy of a system is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So that is constant. If the effect of friction can be ignored, right? So that means the initial kinetic energy plus the initial potential energy must equal to the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy, right? So by the time that the uh, roller coaster is on the ground, you see, energy be at the bottom of the track. So when you go at the bottom of the track, the potential energy final is zero. What's the equation for potential energy? Potential energy is mgh. The potential energy that you have is your weight times the height that you are above the ground, right? The h. So when, you, when the roller coaster is on the ground, there's no potential energy. The initial kinetic energy is also zero. Because it says here, if a roller coaster starts from the top of the track with a potential energy of 500, there is no initial kinetic energy because it's starting there and it has no initial velocity, right? So the initial kinetic energy uh, is zero. So that means the initial potential energy must be equal to the final kinetic energy. So you basically have energy transformation. One form of energy is converted into another form of energy. So if this is 500 joules, the final kinetic energy, therefore, must also equal 500 joules. So what's the choice here? B. So the final kinetic energy is B. What if there was friction on the tracks? If there was friction on the tracks, friction would do negative work. It would eat away from the energy of the system. It would take away from that. So then what would the final uh, kinetic energy be? It would be less than 500 if there was friction, right? But since there's no friction, the answer is B. Thank you.